What is going on? It's Arcavius, your lovable big boy, and uh, as you can tell, we are here with another Fat Man Try. It's going to be a little short one because it's not a very big box. It's not really sponsored by anybody. We just, you know, I decided that I found a pretty cheap box online. It's like five bucks. And as you can tell, this is uh, Japanese candy, so probably should have opened the box it's off camera, but I mean, why not see me struggle to open? Oh, God damn. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what the mystery box unfolds. Oh, thank you, uh, uh, subscriber bell. Thank you for being in the video. Let's see here. Beat the heat summer is here, and that means place your crate in the refrigerator for three to four hours for uh, some items can melt or get soft in warmer temperatures during transit. Oh, this is just saying that I should have put it in the fridge, but I didn't. Okay, so... Japan snack crate. Oh, that's actually look at that. It's like a little postcard. Let's see. Does it have like? Oh, it does. This month's crate is from Japan. Bow. Just take a look at that real quick. Let's see. Fun facts. Most uh, most koi fish outlive their owners, having a lifespan of two hundred years. Holy shit. That's pretty. I didn't know that. In 1997, an episode of Pokemon sent 685 kids... Okay, I know that one. Sleeping on the job is completely okay in Japan. It's a seen as a sign of hard work. Don't know how true that is. Um, up until 2015, it was illegal to dance after midnight. The law called Fuejo lasted 67 years. Geisha in Japanese means person of the arts, and the first geishas were actually men called Taikomochi. And they had a role similar to Western court jesters. Hmm. In the about, it's Japan is an island country in East Asia located in the Pacific Ocean. It lies to the east of the Sea of Japan. It lies to the east of the Sea of Japan. Oh, okay. Um, the East China Sea, China, North Korea, South Korea, and Russia. Stretching from the Sea of... Oh, oh, okay, alright. It's no, also known as the Land of the Rising Sun. I would keep going, but... <clears throat> I am actually, my, my throat is like on fire, um, so we did get the mini, and the cool thing is they're actually telling me what each thing is, so let's jump into this, okay, I got a little snack crate sticker, that's pretty dope, and uh, oh my goodness, look at these stickers, look how cute that is, look at the little sushi one. I have a cat like this, actually. It's up, it's up here somewhere. I, I just gotta find it. Alright. <clears throat> Let's open it up. Oh, I ripped the paper. Actually, I really, this is really cool paper. It has like a sumo wrestler on it. I'll show you the... Okay, this is actually a lot more than what I was expecting. Holy shit, there's a, there's a lot in here. Oh, no, this... Okay, no, this there's six in here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be trying, um, it's apparently Koikia Crispy Pizza, crunchy corn chips dusted with delicious and savory pizza flavors. Show that on the front right there. Sorry, I'm trying to show it to you. So it kind of looks like it's a, uh, just like, like, I guess how Doritos would be. <clears throat> Doesn't smell very good. <laughs> kind of looks like a regular. There's cheese on it. Like there's actual like. Probably can't even see it. That little line right there. Oh, actually, that focused really well. What the hell? It kind of works. It's. Can't really explain it. That's um, that's a different flavor. I, I can't tell if I like it. It's like, a, that's very weird. All right, let's actually move on. Those are, I'm gonna need a drink after that. That's God. I don't know if those are good or not. They're good enough to keep eating, 
But I don't think they're good enough to just like go out and be like, I want to get some crispy pizza. <laughs> Alright, see what's next. We're going to go with... Uh, this thing called Umebo. It's like a little corn dog, but it's not. Dude, I love Japanese packaging. I just I just love what they do. It's the best. Um, this delicious stick. I don't like how they put they put delicious in quotations. I don't like that. It's a puffed corn snack available in many flavors. We've included a few of our favorites for you to try. Hey what? Oh, that's why there's so many in here, because it's like different all the different flavors and stuff. Okay. Um Let's, let's get into it. Why not? Come on. Open! God damn, dude. That packaging is like... Okay. Hmm. What flavor is that? Doesn't say. It just says that there's a few different kind of flavors. It's like a giant Cheeto, almost. I can't really explain what that flavor is either. I'm horrible at this. Like, normally I can kind of, like, give, like, a salt. I mean, it's really salty. It is very salty. But, almost in a good way. It's like, again, I probably wouldn't go out and buy this, but it's good to finish. Um, I'll actually, I'm going to leave that for later. I'm not going to open the other ones, just because it says it's the same thing. Uh, but I will show the what they look like. Here's one of a little dude. He's playing soccer on the front. Uh, and let's see. Here's another one. I kind of thought it was a lumberjack, but <laughs> what would a lumberjack be on there? Look at him. He's like, oh, I'm better. Oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a girl up there. Look at the ninja. I didn't even notice the ninja up top. Look at the ninja. The ninja's like, hi, what's going on? You're a good ninja. I didn't even notice you at first. Are they all supposed to be ninjas? There's a little green one on the bottom, too, I didn't notice. But the top one for sure is top tier ninja. Um, and let's see, is there another one in here? There is. And it's a little, it's a little guy serving a, a, a hamburger. That's a. Uh, oh, there's a monkey! Look at the monkey up top. He's like, give me that burger. I want it. I want the burger. All right. Next, let's see what we got here. We have. What is this? I'm like, my 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 guide here is covered. It's called Kajiriko. I'm butchering these, by the way. This is not probably how you say any of these. Grape soda candy. This chewy sa sandy. This chewy candy features sweet grape taffy outer layer with a fizzy center. Okay. Um, okay. I'm, I almost showed it upside down. There we go. Look at the little grape. Um. Look at the grape on the right there. Oh, he's so cute. I'm down. I'm down for this one. Let's let's see it. Okay. It kind of reminds me of um, the sweet tarts. I don't know if you guys have ever had those. Are like, excuse me, like they're they're sweet. They're chewy sweet tarts. But uh, well, the grape comes through. It's hard to swallow. <clears throat> I don't know about a fizzy center, but the grape definitely comes through. It kind of has a consistency of Charleston Chew, which I don't even know if it still exists. I don't know if you guys have ever seen or heard of that. Mm. That's alright. I'll definitely be finishing that one. Oh. God damn. Is this like gum? It's taffy. I guess taffy is pretty difficult to eat. Um, what's next? This is gum. I, I know this is gum. High chew strawberry, soft chewy candy that tastes like strawberries. Okay. We'll go ahead and show that real quick. Boom. Dude, my camera is actually focusing really well today. I, I'm really appreciating it. Stu, you're doing a great job, camera. 
you know, it kind of had the consistency of gum here, but what I think it is... Oh, there's a little thing I used to open it right here. I'm like trying to open it the wrong way. I think it's almost like a Starburst. Get that over there. Come here, you. Come here, you. Oh, almost dropped it. Oh, shit. There we go. A little, uh, little white inside there. Mmm. The strawberry kind of comes through. Oh, no, there it is. Mmm. Mmm. It's like strawberries and cream. Okay, I don't think that's gum. I think that's I think that's like a regular chewy candy. I can't leave the minty taste. I don't know that. Who's that about? Uh, these look these look like co chocolate covered coffee beans. Uh, let's see, Takako wheat chocolate. A taste of Japanese childhood. These puffed wheat bites are coated in rich milk chocolate. There you go. Take a look at that. That's, um... Okay, so it's chocolate covered in wheat. Um, give me one second, guys. I need to check something out. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open these up. I don't know how I feel about... I'm gluten-free. I don't know if I can eat days. That's a lie, obviously. I'm joking. And if you're actually gluten-free, I feel very, like, bad for you. Like, if you have an actual gluten intolerance. If you're just someone who says you're gluten-free and you're not actually gluten-free and you just want to follow the trend, I hate you. It's like, um... I'm going to explain it. There's definitely some kind of coffee to it. It doesn't just taste like chocolate. There's a little coffee in there. I don't want to say it's like Rice crispy. I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that, but... Okay, anyways. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that, but... Is it just regular... Is it just wheat in there? Wheat bites. Oh, I mean, alright. And of course, last but not least, they had to include, they had to do it to me, some Pocky. Dude, I love Pocky. This is like the main thing that I get, because it's the only thing you can buy here. Um, this is actually green tea Pocky, though, so. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I've been trying to sneeze all day. Um, this is green tea Pocky. I actually haven't seen this in any of my stores near me, so I'm actually super down for this. It says there's a way to open it right here, but I'm a rebel, so I'm going to ignore you and everything you say to me. And of course, the, the Pocky is just normal packaging like any other Pocky you would see. Everything's in English on it, though. That's actually, that's kind of funny. It's like, this is the one thing that's in, that has, like, English on it. Oh, well, no, actually, is there a Japanese word for pizza? I don't know if there is or not, but... Then, of course, let's just go ahead and pull these out. You know, I remember when I first saw Pocky, I, I, I was very, like, against it. Not against it, but I was like, like, what the hell is this? Like, it's just a stick with, like, chocolate on the end of it, but... Hmm. It smells creamy. There it is. When you first bite into it, it almost just, like tastes like it's a creamy kind of thing, but the aftertaste hits, and that's where that green tea hits you. That's, that's actually not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat all of these playing Rainbow the Child. But um, guys. Hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, and of course, if you're new, subscribe. We always enjoy a new addition to the Arca Army. If you have an idea or something of a video I could I, I should do or anything like that, let me know. 
I'm going to try and find different boxes of different areas around the world, and I'll give them a try. Hopefully the next one that comes out will be from... I really want to try Irish candy. For, like, from Ireland, I think that'd be pretty dope. But, guys, I love you all, and I'll talk to you later. This is your lovable big boy signing out. Peace! Yeah.